Uh, my name is Butch Smotis, and I build and maintain cars for a private collection, uh, Bedroll Vintage. Um, primarily self-taught. Um, I started out uh, helping my father in his service station, um, and then he also worked on cars um, in the evening, um, learned how to paint and do body work out of necessity. Um, couldn't afford to pay somebody to do it. Um, I have taken some classes, uh, metal shaping classes, um, but other than that, it's pretty much all self-taught. Um, I, was, I was approached at a car show um, by a gentleman that worked for him. Um, they saw some of the work I was doing. Uh, they had a 55 Chevy that they were working on that they weren't sure how to proceed with and asked me to come down and take a look at it. Um, after looking at the car and giving them some ideas, the owner approached me about coming to work for him. And um, I decided it was a good time to uh, close my own shop and come work for him. Same thing, yeah, I um, was building uh, more paint and body um, than full builds. Um, I did, you know, complete restorations on stuff. Um, when I came to work here, we got into more uh, frame up after, you know, custom builds. Um, I was able to use my creativity to, to build the cars that I wanted to build. Uh, as opposed to what every customer wanted. Um, I work well with the owner um, in, in designing the cars from the ground up. And, and um, out of the cars in the collection, um, the most challenging one is probably the 31 Chevy sedan that we're still currently working on, uh, primarily being the availability of parts for the car. Um, nobody makes anything for it. So, and from suspension all the way up to body panels, nothing's available. So we have to fabricate everything for the car as opposed to, you know, like the Chevelle that's in the collection where you can buy pretty much anything for it. Um, probably the 57 Thunderbird here. Um, this was the first uh, full build from, you know, from ground up that I did for him that um, I pretty much, he gave me a creative license on the car. Um, there's a lot of modifications we made to the car that, um, that I thought would help, you know, would help the appearance of the car. Yeah, for the most part, um, you know, there again, I, I get a, I get to build kind of what I want to build. Um, uh, there's not a lot of restrictions put on me uh, building the cars here for, for him. The, yeah, the freedom of building, being able to build um, what I want to build, you know, as opposed to, you know, doing a, just a, a restoration on a car, you know, where, where you have to, everything's got to be by the numbers, you know. Since I started, you know, um, the, the Thunderbird, the, uh, the Corvette that's currently in the body shop has an aftermarket chassis underneath of it, you know, five-speed trans in it, fuel-injected motor, you know, we're, we're building stuff that not only looks good, but stuff that you can drive, that you can hop in it and drive it wherever. And that's what he, he likes to drive the vehicles that he owns. You know, he uses when the weather's good from April to October, you know, every day he's driving one of them. Um, pretty much everything that I have built for him um, is still here in the collection. Um, the only cars that we sell tend to be ones that he no, either no longer wants or doesn't use. Um, I currently have, uh, it's myself, uh, I have a young lady, Riley Mall, working for me in the body shop. Um, I have two mechanics. I have a full-time detailer 
that also helps in the body shop. And I'm currently looking for another full-time person in the body shop. The only thing we send out would be any machine work for the engines or interior work. There's currently 35 vehicles in the collection. No, um, there were a few people before me. Uh, the owner's been collecting since 2011. Um, he started out farming all the work out and then slowly built his shop up. Um, so there were three or four different guys that worked for him before myself. Um, there was some stuff that we fixed, um, more mechanical wise. Um, drivability issues that were with some of the vehicles, um, just to improve them more than, more than anything else. Um, my favorite vehicle is the 57 Ford Fairlane that we have, convertible. Um, that would be the car, if I could take one car out of the collection and build for myself, it would be that car. Um, I got to use that one. We took it on the uh, Hot Rod Power Tour in 2019. The owner uh, allowed us, my wife and myself to, uh, to use it. Um, it would either be the 57 Fairlane or the uh, 58 Impala behind me. Currently, I'm working on a 50 Mercury. Um, for, a, for a friend of mine, um, that's a complete build we're doing. Um, and then I also do some custom paint work, you know, for friends and family. Um, I paint the vans, shoes, and, and uh, tumblers, and, you know, little items that I enjoy painting. Yeah, it's, it's actually relaxing. Um, that's kind of why I started doing it. Um, you know, you can get the stuff in and out real quick and, you know, it, it's just, it's enjoyable. Uh, fortunately, um, I only, I work here, you know, Monday through Friday, eight hours a day. Um, I'm home, you know, by 3.30 every day. So I get you know, as much time in the evening as I want. I get four or five hours a night in the shop every day if I, if I want to, you know, primarily, I usually do, but yeah. I would say I actually own a, a 62 Galaxy. Um, that would probably be my dream car if I ever finish it. Um, I've owned the car for 25 years. Um, it's a back burner project right now. Uh, 71 Ford F100, that's my daily. Um, for some of the, most of his collection, I would say are, are driver, quality cars. Um, I'm more of a stickler for matching paint on something that's ultra rare. Um, and in, in the collection, you know, if he had Shelby's or, you know, um, Yanko Nova or Camaro or something like that, I would be real strict on making it 100% correct. Um, most of the stuff that he, we have here um, he picks more, the color choices are always his. He gives me an idea, I'll do spray outs on something and then we'll, we'll come to a, an agreement on what color we want it. Um, so most of the stuff, no, we're not really going to factory specs unless we're trying to match something that's currently on a car. Um, like the, the 39 Mercury, I did, had to do paint repair work on it. Um, that we had to, you know, make sure we got the right color on it. 
Um, I know he would like to find a 66 or 7 uh, GTO or Le Mans convertible. Um, probably go probably more of a Le Mans because we probably, there again, it would be less rare. You know, we can customize it the way we want to do it. Um, but other than that, that's the only thing he's really voiced, you know, looking for over the past year or so. We don't show the cars very often for, for awards. Um, occasionally, if, it, you know, I may take a car to a local show. Um, the, the Thunderbird um, has gotten a couple of trophies at some local shows that we've gone to. Um, we, we haven't really done a lot of the uh, um, bigger shows with his vehicles. I've done with stuff that I did at my home shop and my own vehicles. You know, I, I've uh, Syracuse Nationals, we've gotten some stuff there, and uh, Ocean City, Maryland at the, the Endless Cruising and the, the uh, Cruising Ocean City shows, I've, I've won had cars that won awards there. Um, I've done freelance work with other shops um, on some SEMA builds, um, primarily River City Rods out in uh, Davenport, Iowa. Um, 2000, 2019, um, I helped them, or no, I'm sorry, 2018. I helped them with a build. Um, it was a B100 um, Ford, uh, Mexican-based vehicle. Um, did some uh, body work on that for them. And then last year, I helped them with a Bronco and a Chevelle that they took to, uh, to SEMA on some of the finished body work on both of them. Um, probably about a year, year and a half, at least, um, since we're not, since it is a private collection, we're not under, under the gun to try to get stuff finished right away. Like I said, we only work 40 hours a week. Um, so it sometimes it, and it's only two of us in the body shop right now. And, um. It takes a little bit of time to get them to get them to the level that we want to get them to. Um, right now, we're working on two, um, and we have six more um, lined up to come into the into the shop that we, I've been working on off and on over the last five years. Um, but primarily we're trying to get uh, the Bronco and the Corvette finished before we start working on anything else. Um, primarily, it, he'll, he'll give me an idea and, you know, he'll say, you know, he might be looking for, like with the Le Mans or a GTO, he said he wouldn't mind having a GTO. So, you know, I, we, we had some um, discussion about it, what, it, what years he would like, and then um, started talking about design ideas. And um, so currently, I, you know, if I come across something that fits what we're looking for, we would probably buy it. Um, travel. Is it uh, traveling for car stuff? Yeah, yeah, a lot of, you know, car shows and this and that, but uh, my wife and I enjoy traveling um, and um, camping with my kids. If I'm not working here, um, I wouldn't mind uh, freelancing full time. Um, I enjoy uh, going into other shops and helping them and learning learning from other people. Um, I've always enjoyed, uh, enjoyed trying to improve my skills, you know, constantly. And, you know, I feel being able to work with other people, you pick up a lot of little 
little things from other people that help, you know, continue education. Paint and body is always is where I started. Um, you know, the finished body work and the paint aspects of it. Um, the metal work has always been out of necessity. Um, you know, living in Pennsylvania, everything's rusty. So I had to learn how to patch panels, you know, before I could, you know, put paint on top of them. Um, I, I feel my metal shaping has gone, has come a long way, you know, over the years, but that's something that I would love to, you know, get a lot better at. Primarily everything is mine. Um, like I said, I had my own shop for, you know, 10 years. So I had, um, I had a good collection of, of stuff. Um, coming here, basically the basics, you know, we have a, you know, a welder and a, a brake and, you know, um, no, I'd like to, just thank my uh, family for putting up with me um, with building cars like this. Um, it's an obsession with me. Um, and I'd like to thank the owner of the collection for um, you know, giving me the opportunity to build cars for him.